Someone interviewed me yesterday, and of course, I'm talking about the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough, and she gives me a few scenarios asking if these people have been healed. One was someone who was divorced years ago, but every time her ex's name comes up, she just gets livid. That's not healed. That's stage three. Then she talks about someone else who's recently going through, who's been recently betrayed, and they're trying to make it work. Nothing's really changing, um, and they're sort of in this stuck pattern. That's stage three. And then she was talking about a workplace betrayal, and she came out of it, and she's like, no, 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 I'm really good, but I'm never, you know, going to trust anybody else, or I'm never going to go into a business scenario like that again. That's stuck too. So here's the thing. Stage three is the most common place we get stuck. Most of us find ourselves there and stay there. Transformation doesn't even begin until stage four. So here's what I would suggest. You've been through the worst of it already. You owe it to yourself to do something really good with something really painful. The stages are proven, are predictable. You just have to be willing to let go of the story and everything it brings along with it, move through the stages and create the life you deserve. Follow for more. I am always here to share the five stages and how you can do something really good with something really painful. Hope that helps.